Yeah. <laughs> One. Four. <laughs> okay, hello everybody. My name is Aaron. And I'm Jose. And we're the Board Game Brothers, and welcome to another episode of the ABC of the Board Game. So this one we're going to be talking about uh, HeroQuest. Yeah. HeroQuest is a, a dungeon game. I don't know how dungeon crawling. Yeah. It's a campaign game. It's an older game. Uh, we got it a long time ago when we were little kids. <laughs> uh, I believe it's 89, 80 or 89. Something, something. like that. From but the uh, 80s. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's just a uh, it's one of the it's probably like the first game that we played that wasn't like the traditional like Monopoly, Risk, and some Milton, other stuff. Yeah, Bradley, Parker Brother type game. <laughs> yeah, Games Workshop. But uh, yeah, this is one of the first games we tried that wasn't the um, like mass produced. I mean, it is, but but uh, yeah, the mainstream mainstream type game, game. Yeah, yeah, like Monopoly or stuff like that. Um, and so it was cool because. I don't think I was there, or I don't remember getting it, but you remember. <laughs> yeah, I was right? we were really young. Yeah. I remember actually us going to the store. We had just moved to a new city, and yeah, we took went to the local, our dad took us to his local shop, and it had a whole bunch of games, and I'm trying to remember, I kind of remember where it was, which I'm sure it's not even there anymore, that mm. place. Yeah. But yeah, we, we came out with that board game, and just looking at the box, I was like, <laughs> wow, it looks really cool, like with the barbarian, the elf, wizard, and dwarf, fighting all these monsters in a dungeon, and on the back it shows all these cool weapons and items uh, and magics and stuff you can do yeah it looked really cool <laughs> and i guess by like today's standards it's uh i guess it could be considered outdated, yeah dated because uh it's super simple um you just roll dice to move which i guess some people don't like roll and move <laughs> but <laughs> I like it. yeah fun. you just roll dice you move uh and the attack is pretty simple also just there's attack symbol there's defense uh, the heroes have a, a specific shield and the villains have a specific shield. But you're all rolling the same mm-hmm. attack slash defense die. And yeah, it, a campaign with, I think, like 12 quests I or something. I believe so. Uh, like and it could be up to five players because one person can be the villain, uh, Zargon, I think. I think so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then there's the four heroes, like you're saying, the the elf, the dwarf, the wizard, and the barbarian. And so yeah, there's five of us. Uh, me, Jose, our sister, and our parents. So my dad was always the, the evil <laughs> evil person, the Zargon <laughs> person. And all of us had a different uh, hero. And yeah, we just like got into it and just... Yeah, just played into <laughs> your character. I was always the wizard. <laughs> I was the barbarian, yeah. But yeah, it was just fun because... I don't know, just, it was the first different game that we had tried. And it was just cool, yeah. just uh, you, as the wizard, you had a lot of magic spells you can use. Like, cool, listen, let's be real extra dice. And, uh-huh. and we're all walking around the dungeon saying, like, looking around the corners, like, what can I see? And my dad will get into it, being like, you look and you see a skeleton, blah, blah, blah <laughs> and nothing else. And it's like, what, I can't see behind it? It's like, no, he's blocking. <laughs> and yeah, just all the different things you can do and... uh I don't know, it was really fun just doing all the quests and trying to complete everything. You get gold, you can buy in between missions or quests, you can buy different uh, armors and weapons that increase defense and attack. And again, mm-hmm. it's like nowadays it's like super simple game. Yeah. It's super simple movement, combat, the stuff you could buy just straight up, just oh, one more die for attack or something like that. But uh, I don't know, it just, I still like it. It's like nostalgic, and I still, I don't think it's a bad game, but some people feel like, it's probably aged. <laughs> yeah. Even for it being as old as it is, I feel like it's still immersive enough with the little mm. stories for each quest that you're doing and everything you're trying to complete. And sometimes you have like a, what's the word when you're trying to escort, like an escort mission, you're trying to find someone mm. and bring them back or you're hunting down an orc or a troll or something because he went and stole like some gold from some rich guy or whatever. And, or you're looking for an evil wizard because he's like captured the princess or something. Like there's yeah. always different little things for the quest, and you always come back with like a super rare item that either only the wizard can use or only the barbarian because he's the only one strong enough to use it, or some special item too that just makes the quest like that much more. Like, oh cool, I found something like super unique. <laughs> yeah, and uh I mean if everybody takes their time cooperating, it's not super hard. There's still some yeah. stuff, but the heroes could struggle. Yeah, but especially if we split off, which, I mean, mm. we're younger. It's like, I'm going this way. I rolled a 12. I'm out of here. And everybody's uh-huh. like, I only rolled a 3. Wait up. It's like, I'm out of here. And, uh-huh. and when you split up like that, it does all of a sudden make it like a little harder because you could open a door and all of a sudden there's like three skeletons and an orc. Yeah. And you're by yourself. And you're like, uh-oh. <laughs> and you can kind of try to bottleneck them because you can only attack mm. orthogonally anyway for the mm. most part. So you can kind of try to make it easier when it's one on many, one versus yeah. many, and you're stuck like that. But, but try even, not to split. Yeah, but even with like that, it's 
they only can only attack you if you're blocking the doorway, but the same thing, you can only attack them. Mm -hmm. All your other party can't really help you that much unless mm -hmm. you try to move and attack. But then if you move wrong, they can, you'll leave an opening, they'll escape and attack you. But, uh, I don't know, it's just really fun. It's just <laughs> a cool game. Yeah, that game, ever since we played it, it's like sparked my love of those type of games to this day. Like, uh -huh. That's like my favorite genre of games is like the dungeon crawling immersive kind mm -hmm. of game that like really puts in the storytelling and lets you like to assume the role of this character and they're all unique in their own way with all their different powers like any game that has that co-op feel to it like i'm already drawn to it uh, <laughs> yeah uh it's probably hard to find now uh it's kind of yeah i was for sure out of print yeah it's sold. <laughs> it's kind of expensive if you do happen to find one also yeah but uh you got lucky you found one yeah i <laughs> found a copy cheap. of it like at a thrift store once for like three bucks and i was like wow like <laughs> okay like this is cool i get my own copy of it now and it looked brand new pretty much like whoever owned it before um played it once or twice the cards were like mint they were mm -hmm. furniture pieces that hadn't even been assembled yet because yeah. all the cool little furniture in the game you actually it looks 3d so it's, it makes the board pop out well actually it looks 3d it actually is 3d yeah. You assemble them and they have like a throne room or a fireplace or a torture rack and all this different stuff. So it really adds to the theme of the game. Like, yeah. It pops. That's the thing. Yeah, we didn't say that. Mm -hmm. I feel like with some other games, they might add just uh, chits or tiles mm -hmm. with a picture of like a table. This yeah. one actually has a table. Mm -hmm. Like you Tables had to construct chairs. it, but you had doors, open doors, closed doors, everything. Yeah, it just it makes the whole board like come alive and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's one of my favorite games to this day. <laughs> Yeah, so, I mean, if you happen to find a copy of it, or if you know someone who, yeah, who has it, uh, check it out, because it's simple, but it's still fun. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's it. We'll see you all next time. Bye.